In this video, I'm going to go through how to solve for a probability for a sampling distribution. Okay, so the setup is the following. We sample 64 individuals. So our sample size is going to be 64. They spend, on average, 180 hours online per year. So that's the average from the sample with a standard deviation of 90 hours. So that is the sample standard deviation. The time spent are highly skewed to the right. Question, what is the probability of our sample mean being within 10 hours of the population mean? Okay, so we can treat this like a bell curve because we're doing a probability on a sampling mean. That makes this a sampling distribution. And for large enough sample sizes, 64 should be large enough. For large enough sample sizes, it should be roughly bell-shaped, despite the original times being skewed to the right. Okay, so let's go treat this like a normal distribution. Uh, only difference here is we need to get the standard error because it's a sampling distribution, or we're doing the statistics on our sample mean. So take your standard deviation and divide by the square root of your sample size. Beautiful. Let's see what that gives us. So 11.25 is the standard error. Beautiful. Now our width, we want to be 10 away from the uh, sample mean or the population mean, if that makes sense. Now, our best guess for our population mean is the sample mean that we got, which is the 180. So we are going to use that and minus 10 from it to get the lower x value. And we're going to take that and add 10 to it to get the upper x value. So to get this guy. So we're going to assume that the true mean is close enough to the sample mean that we're just going to use the 180 in the middle here. Okay, and that does become true or the sample means do approach the true mean as again n gets large enough. So let's roll with that. So now now this just becomes a normal distribution problem where we want the area in the middle. To do this, we use a norm.discall. Use the largest x value first, put in the mean, and in this case, the standard error, because again, we're dealing with a sampling distribution, comma one, and subtract from it the smaller x value the 170, put in the mean again, and the standard error, comma one for cumulative equal to true. So again, if we want the area on a bell curve here, if we want the area between two x values, just subtract norm.dist of either of them. What that actually does is takes the area all the way up to the upper limit and subtracts off the area below the lower limit leaving us with this middle area. Beautiful. And let's see what that gives us. Okay, so that gives us uh, 0.6259, or if you will, conclusion here. Okay there is a 62.6% chance that the sample mean is within 10 hours of the population mean. And that concludes this example. Thanks for